Hey, what's up everyone? This is a new uh, version of DOSBox. Uh, Smuggin worked up an on-screen keyboard and he also implemented a file manager. It's not his file manager, he just made uh, the main config um, configuration boot up into the file manager. Let's launch it and you'll be able to see the file manager. It's nice and easy to uh, launch your DOS games now that way. Also the on-screen keyboard, as you can see down below, um, it has a C colon prompt right here. The on-screen keyboard will let you just type in whatever you want. So you could add commands if you wanted. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. As you can see I'm just pressing S. Um, by pressing B, I can make a sticky key. As you can see it's filling up the screen. So this is how you do your key combinations, like your Control-Alt-Delete. Alright, so now let's play a game that requires um, on-screen keyboard to actually start. We'll play Jumpman. If you guys haven't played the Jumpman series before, you really need to. It's a great platformer. Um, I first played it on the IBM PC Junior when I got my... Um, when I got the actual PC Junior, it was one of the games that came with it. Um, I also played Jumpman Junior on the Commodore 64. Alright, it needs S to start. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the on-screen keyboard by pressing the left shoulder button. And then I'm just going to press S. And as you can see... I'm dead. <laughs> there we go. It's hard to see the little bullets uh, when you're playing through a viewfinder. Okay, that's enough of that. I've embarrassed myself uh, enough. Let's go ahead and exit out. Press Y to exit. And press Escape as well. And there you have it. We're back to the uh, file commander. And um, there's an example of using the on-screen keyboard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to see uh, how much more uh, Smuggin' improves this already great emulator.